You're a, you're an 8K for the first time in your life. Yeah. Yeah, 8K, right? We got a visitor today. Hey, so this is the office. Do you mind being on camera, Sean? No, 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 no. So this is this is Sean. He has like a massive, massive channel. And what do you do on your channel? Build a log cabin, basically. I'm building a self-reliant lifestyle up in the bush, a couple hours north of here. He's just like living off the grid, making YouTube videos. You have probably yeah, the yeah. coolest <laughs> job ever. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm starting to organize my gear wall. Uh, Sean was just telling me how he used to be Canon until it all got stolen. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars <laughs> of equipment got stolen out of the truck. But you got insurance money, and then you switched over to Sony, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm tempted to go back again. <laughs> and then this just arrived. Secret package will open. Well, you probably already know what it is by now. <laughs> okay, Sean, massive creator, doing really cool stuff. And he is looking for a editor, right? I am. In Canada, hopefully a Canadian. Ontario would be good. Near Toronto, north. So if you're in like the Barrie area... Yeah, I would say GTA North up to Huntsville ish, or in that area at all. Be, I'm looking for an editor, and it'd be awesome if you understand something about the outdoors, because it's my channel. If you go check it out, you'll see that it, um, it's basically off grid, it's canoeing and fishing and all that kind of stuff, and camping. So You can't be a city boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, email this email if you're interested in being Sean's editor. Uh, yeah, I think it might be a pretty fun job. Yeah, it'd be an awesome job. <laughs> I wish I had it when I was younger. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> presumably you're going to be younger than me. <laughs> All right. It was uh, nice meeting you, Sean. Hang right. out. Uh, 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 like an air, <laughs> air high five? Yeah, like that. Uh, uh, thanks so much for coming out. Uh, right. Hopefully we can find you an editor. It's finally here. The moment I've been waiting for for like months. Feels like years. The R5. <laughs> I have not been this excited for a camera for a very, very long time. New battery, same charger, manual. Who reads manuals? Tyler, do you read manuals? No. Tyler doesn't read manuals. Nobody reads manuals. I'm going to let you guys look at the front of it before I even look at it. Ta-da! It, ac it actually feels like I'm holding an R in my hands. It is a little bit different. Okay. Tiny bit bigger than the R. Just a tiny bit. I I'm feeling so much pressure that I need to film something like some crazy epicness. This was not in the plans. Canon literally called me this morning. They're like, uh, good news. We have an R5 for you. Would you like to review it? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, so I have this for like just a couple days and then I got to send it back. I'm not a Canon ambassador. I don't get paid by Canon. I'm just going to test it out. And I, I'm honestly hoping that it's so much better than I even think right now, just because I'm kind of tired of using the EOS R. No offense, EOS R. You've been great to me, but uh, kind of bored of you. I never thought I would see 8K on a Canon mirrorless camera. Their, their cinema cameras don't even do 8K. Okay, I think we gotta stick this lens on this camera and test it out. Okay, we are in 8K now. This is this is the first time I think I've ever filmed in 8K. Do I look better in 8K or worse? Is this a terrible idea? Hey Tyler, come look at my 8K camera. I know Tyler's been excited this whole time to see it. He's just playing cool back there. Look at that, it's 8K. Wow, <laughs> you can see all my pores. We could do like a zoom in on your, on your face, even though you're that far. Whoa. We can zoom in easy, because it's 8K. I need a new skincare routine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is, I have up until this point filming everything in 1080. And now it's this 8K. <laughs> do you guys know, that's not just like eight times, that's like, is that like, what's the math on that? It's like many, many, many times more uh, quality than 1080. <laughs> okay, Canon R5, you are here. Uh, maybe we should go outside and film some test clips or something. I don't, I don't know what to do with this. This is too much power in my hands.
120 frames per second is finally back. Uh, hopefully we can we can keep it around. Uh, this is 8K now. I've been kind of trying to play around with all the different resolutions. Uh, I still can't believe I'm filming in 8K. Is there a lot of wobbling? That's what I'm, one thing I'm worried about is the IBIS being too strong and getting a little bit of the wobbles in the corners. Uh, Tyler raising the roof over here. Uh, is it wobbling a lot? Cause I don't think you can turn off the IBIS. So if it's wobbling, it's not very good. I don't know if the turning on the digital IS will help the wobbles in the corner. It might help. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of different tests with this camera and I apologize. For that loud car but also that this was like the most boring b-roll ever i'm just like hey, uh <laughs> tyler you're just I not mean, that interesting yeah. <laughs> i'm pretty sure the last time i used b-roll they're like you couldn't use any more of like a basic looking guy <laughs> and model tyler not manager tyler, okay? yeah sorry the the footage is a little bit boring but i'm just like i just gotta film something with it since i have it uh, maybe tomorrow we can do something more exciting, something more fun, because this was not at all the plan for today. I was gonna make a completely different video, and then Canon called and came through with an R5. All right, sweating and back at the office. Uh, could you guys see any difference between uh, the 4K clip and the 8K clip? Because honestly, I've been filming in 1080. I don't think I need 8K yet. I think that's a little overkill for most people. It is nice to have, it's it's like a future proofing of your camera. If you invest $4,000, you're gonna be able to use this for a pretty long time still. So I'm most likely probably gonna film in 4K mostly, but I'm curious, is there much of a difference? Can you even see a difference between the 8K and the 4K? I'll probably make a whole video <laughs> on whether you guys can see a difference. But uh, what do you guys think so far? Is it looking good? Better than the EOS R? A lot of you have been guessing that I've been using this thing for a while already, but I have not. I gotta say, so far the footage is looking very good and I've been missing 120 frames per second. It's like, it's a bit of like a cheat code because you only need like one second of something cool to happen and you get this epic shot. It's just, it's really nice. Plus, you can get away without using a gimbal a lot of times with 120 frames per second because it kind of just smooths everything out. And then with the IBIS now, it does it even more. Uh, I just, I, I wanna take this thing on like an epic trip to Norway or something. I need some like, something cooler to film than just my office. Also, before I forget, uh, the secret company that I've been helping out with, uh, We The Project, if you missed it, I announced it a little while ago. If you missed it, you can sign up now and check it out. Um, also, we want your guys' feedback. If you're a freelancer, if you're a filmmaker, you're looking to get more work, getting your feedback would be really great because that means we can make the platform even better for you guys. So uh, all of the feedback will be considered. So please give us feedback so we can know what could be better. And there's already so many of you that have signed up on there. And some people were sending emails about how you guys have been meeting other people and you've put a project on there and all these people have been wanting to collaborate now. It's just, it's really cool to see it working. And even though I haven't been talking about it a lot on this channel, uh, do know that I'm excited about it and we are making it better and better. There's a lot of stuff happening in the background. I feel like I just, I just wanna keep filming everything and anything because uh, this camera is just so exciting. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like I could literally spend the whole day at the office. It never feels like I have enough time there. Always things to do, never enough time. It's really hot in here. I kind of want to let this run and just see if it overheats. It's going to be a terrible waste of memory card space, but uh, all in the name of science. All right, let's see how long it takes to uh, overheat this thing. It's very hot in here. Uh, I mean, I have the AC turned on soon, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, I see the little heat uh, sign come on that it's overheating maybe. Uh, and it has been seven minutes and 20 seconds so far. Daddy. Hey, Kaika. Will you have your lunch? Yeah, I had my lunch. Can I see what's inside? Oh, well, it's just an empty bag now. Cause I ate it all. You didn't eat it, Daddy. You like your lunch? 
I missed you. Your tummy likes the lunch. My tummy liked the lunch a lot. Oh, I missed you, buddy. Do you want to play with my dinosaurs? Of course I want to play with your dinosaurs. Do you like daddy's new camera, buddy? Yeah. You like it? Who bought it? Oh, it, uh, it's just on loan. I got to give it back still. You're an, you're an 8K for the first time in your life. Yeah. Yeah, 8K, right? So the camera overheated after about nine minutes in 8K, uh, the all eye, not the raw. Uh, and it was a pretty hot car. But the overheating, I was hoping the overheating thing was just like completely blown out of proportion. It was more of like, we're gonna be, we're gonna be extra cautious, give them a warning, but uh, clearly the camera does overheat in certain situations. So we're gonna have to do some more tests on that. It's overheating again. I was gonna film more today, try to get some more footage, but I've had a clogged ear for like five days. Now I'm feeling pressure on the other side and my doctor said I should go to the ER, so now I gotta do that. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Mm, doesn't feel good though. You wanna say see you later, everybody? See you later, snowball. <laughs> You're making snowballs in the summer?